How's it going, everybody? Doug Price here from the Agave Social Club, the Agave Social Club podcast. Uh, so I did a Blanco list, and uh, people have asked what would be the Reposado list. So this is my list of uh, the Reposados that I think people should be trying out. Again, there are so many great brands. There are so many great Reposados. To, to say this is the all-time best list, This is that that's not what I'm trying to do here. If somebody were to say to me, hey, what would be... 10 or so reposados that you think people need to try this would be that list this is in no particular order i would gladly sip on any of these reposados and like i said before uh, this is my palette you may have a different list i, I want to hear what your list is i want to hear what from this list made your list because th there may be some that could and there may be some that don't uh, but this is my list of what i would recommend for somebody to try for reposados number one i love this reposado siete leguas siete leguas uh, reposado man this is uh, just a solid solid reposado a beautiful creamy buttery uh, traditionally made really really great stuff siete leguas their their whole lineup is phenomenal pretty much all of these their entire lineup but this reposado uh, is my favorite from their lineup so siete leguas definitely worth checking out I don't have much of it left. Tapatio. This is awesome. Screw top here. This is not pricey. One liter. This is a steal of a deal. Tapatio Reposado. Uh, definitely want to grab some of this. I mean, come on. Look at look at how old that is. It looks cheap, but it's not. It's really great. Same guy making Tapatio. Ocho. This Ocho Reposado. Uh, this was the first I had in the Ocho lineup. And, and this is just... I love this Reposado. Uh, this is using that terroir. They're going there for a state agaves. Each one is coming from a certain region. So you're picking up that uh, minerality. You're picking up that soil. You're picking up that climate. Anything that's happening for the region uh, is for this bottle. So Tequila Ocho, really, really great stuff. Same master distiller, Carlos Camarena. Uh, is doing really great things at La Tena, But both of these, and, and they're different. Tequila Ocho. I'm going to hit you with a curveball. You're probably like, I'm with you, I'm with you, I'm with you. Really? Padre Azul Reposado. This is a sweeter uh, treat. I, I enjoy this. They're a little crazy with the skull and the packaging here, uh, but this is a solid Reposado. And you may go, yeah, that's not as traditional as these other tequilas. I agree. This is a sweeter tequila. And what's crazy is that if you talk to someone who doesn't know anything about tequila they will probably pick this over anything on this list and you know what that's okay because i'm just trying to get them in the door i'm trying to get them in the door to sit down and start sipping some tequila and then we can start integrating other more traditional tequilas so padre azul this isn't cheap Th this is on the higher end uh, but this is really really good juice i did a tasting event back in september i had 20 people there and this was on the lineup and you know what everybody loved it Everybody loved this. It's richer, it's sweeter, it's got a great mouthfeel. Sounds a little weird saying that, uh, but this is good, good juice. Padre Azul Reposado. Hey, Carlos is not the only person in his family that knows how to make great tequila. Volans, Volans, this is their uh, single barrel Reposado. This is made by Felipe Camarena at El Pendillo, now 1579. Uh, this is my favorite distillery. I love everything about this brand. I love everything about all of their tequilas, but this Reposado, this single barrel. So you got you got rainwater that they're capturing, you got deep well water, and you've got natural spring water all coming together. Just a just a symphony of of earth, of minerality, of freshness. This is really really great. And whether it's the single barrel, which uh, they're almost completely gone, these are these are getting harder to find, or the brand new blended barrel. You can tell it's just got one square here. Uh, both phenomenal little different this is a little darker in color both phenomenal phenomenal juice and guess what coming out of the same distillery g4 g4 this is felipe camarena's uh, this is his baby this is a representation of him his sons they are the fourth generation uh, but this is phenomenal traditional buttery so agave forward really really great stuff g4 you're gonna see it everywhere uh, if you haven't tried it really want to encourage you to try it suerte this is great juice this is like 35 bucks uh, it's so good i i don't have any more i'm all out of it uh, this is really really good stuff they're making it tohona crushed 
small batch, craft. They own their own distillery. They're the only tequila being made at that distillery. Tohona crushed. Uh, really, really great juice. If you see this, uh, just an all-around awesome company. The branding, the merch that they have, that is just swag. You can't even buy it. I've tried to ask them, can we buy your, your merch? They, they say, hey, we focus on the tequila, and then we just give away the swag. But really, really great brand. Check out Suerte. You can buy it on their website. I think it's drinksuerte.com. And if you buy three bottles, it's free shipping. Uh, but, man, really, really great juice. El Tequileño Grand Reserve. Uh, this one's grown on me. This is, again, traditional, all natural, no additives here. Uh, but the nose on this is just caramel caramel through and through this has a touch of sweetness but it's not overly sweet I, I wouldn't even say this is a dessert one this is just a solid solid reposado uh, really great brand I, I really enjoy this brand as well El Ticolano reposado and then to round it out I love Cien Bravias. I love this reposado don't have much of this left either uh, this is really, really great juice. I love all the information that they're giving here. David Soro is the man, the myth, the legend. Uh, he's done so much for the tequila industry, uh, but I just love the information that he's given here. But this is a beautiful reposado right here. Siembra Valles, definitely want to check that out. So that's my list. That is, hey, what would be those tequilas? And I know you're all going, wait, you missed one. And I'm going to put one more on there. I don't have the bottle. I'll throw up a picture. Fortaleza. So this is 11. It's the surprise. It's not 10, it's 11. Uh, Fortaleza. Fortaleza would definitely be on that list. Their Reposado, uh, that was the first that I had from their lineup. And that Reposado is so good. Uh, I need I need to grab some of it, but I, I'm out of it. Uh, but Fortaleza would be on that list. That would be my list of if somebody were to ask me, hey, what are some Reposados that I need to try? These are the ones that I would want them to try. If you like these videos, uh, we'd love for you to subscribe. It helps with the algorithms on where people can see them. Uh, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm at Agave Social Club. My website's theagavesocialclub.com. And we'd love for you to check out the podcast. I, I have interviewed uh, a handful of these brands. Uh, some of these brands are coming up. Go ahead in the comments. Tell me what would be on your list. I want to know what reposados do I need to try. There's a lot of great ones out there. Just because it's not on this list, no disrespect to them. A lot of great brands, uh, but these are the ones that I would love to share with somebody who's just getting into tequila. Thanks for watching. This is legit. You, you could probably knock somebody out with this. This is legit.